Recently, there's been a new supercapacitor discovery. Now, many people are saying that this is a game changing energy storage marvel that we should be paying attention that you need to know about these new supercapacitors. So here's what they actually are. And here is why people say they are in fact game changing. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Welcome to the new subscribers and welcome back everyone else. These new ultra micro supercapacitors showcase superior energy storage, which is the big problem with supercapacitors and a potential for a revolution in device power sources. It could drastically change things from uh, cars down to mobile phones and even watches. Researchers at the Department of Instrumentation and Applied Physics, Indian Institute of Science, have designed a novel, as in completely new, ultra micro supercapacitor, a tiny device which is capable of storing a huge amount of electric charge. Now, if we just increase the size of this device exponentially, you could potentially have a battery pack here that would really work in an electric car and be able to charge in one to two minutes. This device is much smaller and more compact than existing supercapacitors, and it can potentially be used in many devices, ranging from streetlights to consumer electronics, electric cars, and even medical devices. Most of these devices are currently powered by batteries. However, over time, these batteries lose their ability to store charge and therefore have a limited shelf life. Capacitors, on the other hand, can store electric charge for much longer by virtue of their design. For example, a capacitor operating at five volts will continue to operate at the same voltage for well over a decade. But unlike batteries, they cannot discharge energy constantly to power a mobile phone, for example. So what's the actual advantage of supercapacitors? Why is everyone talking about them? And why is this particular device game changing? Here it is. Supercapacitors, on the other hand, combine the best of batteries and capacitors. They can store as well as release huge amounts of energy and are therefore highly sought after for next generation electric devices. Now they can also release energy incredibly quickly. In fact, much more quickly than a standard lithium ion battery can. That has benefits in things or areas that require huge amounts of power, such as electric airplanes. In this recent study published in ACS Energy, the researchers fabricated their supercapacitor using field effect transistors or FETs as the charge collectors instead of the metallic electrodes that are used in existing supercapacitors. In fact, this is a completely new idea and a completely new concept. They said using FET, so field effect transistors, so field effect transistors as an electrode for supercapacitors is something new for tuning charge in a capacitor, said Alba Misra, professor at JA or IAP and corresponding author of the study. Current supercapacitors typically use metal oxide based electrodes, but they are limited by poor electron mobility and therefore they haven't really taken off in things like electric cars or even mobile phones. However, Misra and the team decided to build a hybrid FET. Doesn't mean internal combustion, just means a hybrid supercapacitor consisting of alternating few atoms with thick layers of molybdenum disulfide and graphene to increase electromobility, which is then connected to gold contacts. Now, a solid gel electrolyte is used between the two PET electrodes to build a solid state supercapacitor. Sounds complicated, but it's actually fairly simple. The entire structure is built on a silicon dioxide silicon base. The design is the critical part because you are integrating two systems, said the team. The two systems are the PET electrodes and the gel electrolyte an ionic medium which has different charge capacities, Vinod Panwa, PhD student and IAP, and one of the lead authors adds that it was challenging to fabricate the device to get all the ideal characteristics of the transistor right, 
since these supercapacitors capacitors are extremely small, they can't be seen without a microscope. That's how tiny these are. And the fabrication process requires high precision and incredible hand-eye coordination. Of course, when these are mass manufactured, they won't be made by hand, they'll be made by robots. So what's the actual performance? Well, here's the game-changing part of it. Once the supercapacitors are fabricated, the researchers measured the electromechanical capacitor or charge holding capacity of the device by applying various voltages. They found that under certain conditions, the capacitance increased by 3,000%. 3,000%. By contrast, a capacitor containing just MOS, as in existing capacitors, without graphene showed only a 18% enhancement in capacitance under the same conditions. So these batteries have the potential for possibly 10 to 20 times the energy density of today's lithium batteries. That's, that's completely game changing because not only can they store that incredible amount of energy, they can also discharge it very, very quickly and they can be charged extremely fast. This is one of the big advantages of supercapacitors. In theory, you could theoretically charge an EV sized battery in only around two minutes. In the future, the researchers are planning to explore if replacing MOS with other materials can increase the capacitance of their supercapacitor even more. They add that their supercapacitor is fully functional and can be deployed in energy storage devices like electric car batteries or any miniaturized system by on-chip integration. The, the guys who basically came up invented this new supercapacitor say that it will work, it will work in an electric car. They are planning to apply for a patent on the supercapacitor, but here's the problem. It's gonna take years before we see something like this in an EV. Maybe 2035, maybe 10, 11, 12 years away. That's if we do see them. They may not be commercially viable. That's the big challenge here. Commercial viability, whether or not they can be mass manufactured. Can they be? No one knows yet, but if they can, it would completely change the industry. I mean, this is a product that I believe would be a significantly better than a solid state battery, even the best solid state battery that we've seen so far. So guys, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments on this. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.